Hello and welcome to Season 3 Intercell Outback Series Race 1 at Daytona. I'm 8675309858 and we're finally back for the Intercell. It's been a long time and we've finally made it here using the NWS 13 cars and oh boy this is going to be exciting. We got a bunch of rookies, a few veterans here. So let's give you your entire starting lineup. On the pole is Chris Washer, second is Sean Galligan, third Charlie Rodriguez, fourth Noah Hart. 5th, Anthony Ritchie, 6th, Gabe Colvin, 7th, Michael Norman, Michael Norman, 8th, Dylan Pote, 9th, Preston Plark, completely in the top 10 is Lily Erickson. Now I'll give you the rest of your starting lineup. Once I get the cam here, there we go. Here's the rest of your starting lineup from 11 fun back. That was a look at your starting lineup. Um, get the cam here. There we go. Well, we got a few more minutes before, a few seconds before the um, command. Mentioned a few people were making their first ever start in their in our thousand three, you know, time. Nick Smith in the five, first time he's ever joined a series. So welcome aboard him. Um, Baskinger's back by the way since season one. Um, did you do the nine car? Jessica Shelton. They made a huge makeover. They got rid of the Toyotas. They gave the command already. And they went to a Chevy. So it's good to see uh, Jessica in this new kick-ass scheme. Um, I'm going to wait here until the, uh, you know, the car's moving. There we go. Uh, a few other people to mention. Uh, do, 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 I'm looking through the list. Or the cars here. Uh, Anthony McCurry. Welcome him, boy. First time I ever joined my series. And I've been looking forward to this guy here. Michael Norman. Cole Daly. You know, a bunch of people. John Trollston making his first ever start in Inner Cousin 3. Good. We'll see how he'll do. Maybe he'll be a troll. Who knows? <laughs> um, looking through here. Shane Barnado making his first ever start in any Inner Cousin 3 league. So welcome him aboard as well. Driving Angie's List Toyota. And I believe that is it of all like the debut, like debut, debut. <clears throat> Gabe Coleman, this is the first time I've ever seen him aboard and. uh, you know, yeah. Chris Washer's going to lead us down. The ticker is up. It's NBC Sports. Here we go. Here for 20 laps. The green flag is out. Don't worry. We will be back at this track for the 500 in the cup. So I can't wait to see that. Already, they're going to go three wide for the lead. As Rodriguez makes it go down low. Driving the 38 Shell Pennzoil Chevrolet. Already spamming out. Into three wide. They're racing really good right now. You know, it's this is a Daytona where I, you know, a lot of people have, have seen the like in the community, and this is a good thing too. And uh, this is gonna this is gonna be interesting as Rodriguez has oops wrong uh, button there. Rodriguez is gonna take the lead. Who's going to lead the first lap of season three? Holy crap! They're going crazy behind. It may look like it's Rodriguez, but Richie is about ready to make a move. Uh, Preston's gonna go underneath for a second, so Charlie Rodriguez will lead the first lap of Season 3. Big, the uh, big thing for the rookie here. Now, I want to mention here, there are many, many, many rookies here in this field. I mean, you got Rodriguez, Citadino, Floyd, McNamara, Richie, Washer, the pole sitter. Um, uh, looking through here, Lawler. Making his first ever start in the Outback. He made it in Universal uh, last season, but not for Outback, though. Not that I know of. Um, oh, geez, they're going four wide. Oh, before I continue. Oh, no, no, no. No. Come on, Charlie, move up. Oh, man, that was close. Already they're going four wide. Jesus. Um, Michael's Freight, Gabe Coleman, Michael Norman, Ryan Richards, Trevor Germain, Gene Sanford, PJ Williams. Justin Talapass in this series. Um, Alan Caminaro. Uh, Qualls. Uh, Shelton. Uh, do, 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 do. Looking through here. Trollson is mentioned before. Varnado, McCurry. Duda, Nick Smith. Uh, Daly. 
Austin LaPlante. And th there's more, too. I mean, there's that many rookies. Lily Erickson, uh, Brandon Freight, um, Jacob Antony, Michael White, Kyle Thomas. I mean, there's that many rookies. And then you got a few veterans like Seth Colt, Sean Galligan, who's been around since season one, Jack Richards, um, Charles Jackson. And then uh, once in season one was uh, Baskinger. Um, other than that, there's... Oh, I forgot about Daniel Day as a rookie as well. And um, uh, I believe I'm missing one other. Noah Hart's a veteran since season two. Uh, I believe I got everyone. Ryan Richards is a rookie. Yeah, I believe I got everyone. Uh, Young, he's he's been around since season one. Probably his last season he's going to be in two. Oh, forgot about Michaels, who just took the lead away. Uh, he's a rookie as well. And now, here comes Qualls. He's diving underneath for the inside for the lead. Well, not so fast. Here comes Pichu London to the inside for the lead. And I, piled, I apologize I didn't do this race earlier because uh, I was uh, pretty sick. I mean, I'm still a little bit, but uh, you know, I got my voice back a little bit too, so that's a good thing. So I apologize for not you know doing the races yet. But uh, oh boy, I've been looking forward to this race. Speaking of moving up, how about Jessica Shelton? Goodness me, that nine car is moving up really, really fast. And get this. The guys who started in the in the back, the last um, two positions, Cassandra Renzi just moved in the middle, though. She moved her way up. And how about the guy who started dead last in this race? Nick Smith, that's third on the inside line. He's moving his way up, too. Maybe going to try to help her friend, his uh, friend out there, too. Jessica oh, we got a wreck in the back. I see Galligan, Hart, Varnado. They keep it going. I don't see a caution. No caution. Erickson, Hart. Uh, who else was it? Galligan. Chris Washer, the pole sitter. Oh, my goodness. Varnado. Looks like that was it, but... Man, lucky they didn't pull out a caution. I don't know what happened, though. I didn't see. Lean to the line. Nick Smith is going to lead that lap. Went from 42nd to 1st in about 5 laps. And now here comes John Trollston. <clears throat> He's going to take the lead. Well, not so fast. Ian Duda is now going to take the lead. Here comes Jacob Antony and Kyle Thomas. You know, most of these drivers, yeah, they're, they're a bunch of rookies. So all the the few veteran drivers that are in here, you know, they're really going to show them what, the, what it takes to be, you know, a veteran and stuff. And, you know, and then there's people that, you know, that are like Justin Talapass and, um, Lawler, those are a few examples. They were in the cup, but never in the nationwide. So this is good experience for them and due to oh no, 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 no. Oh no, we got a two wrecks happening. Two wrecks happening. Oh, Kyle Thomas is flipping. Jacob Antony's gonna lead at the line. Oh no, 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 no. Sheldon. Whoa, Galligan, look out. Oh no, hit the brake. Oh, oh my goodness, how did Galligan avoid that wreck? Oh, they're still wrecking. Hart, Washer. Oh, my God. It's just piling up. Many, many cars involved in that wreck. Oh, for goodness sakes. Caution's out. From what it looks like. To where maybe... Uh-oh. Oh, slow down, Town Pass. Slow down, slow down. May look like where Qualls is. About 16 cars made it through. Yeah, because McCurry got involved. I Yeah, Daniel Day got involved. Pichu got involved. Yeah. Jermaine, I don't see damage on him. I know uh, McNamara got involved. Let's see when we're coming on here. I don't know if he's got right side damage or not. No, he doesn't have right side damage. Michael Norman looks like he's okay. Plor got damage. I know that Galligan. There's Lily Erickson. She got some damage. I know that. I saw her around. Sheldon was around. I saw that. Smith was involved. Gene Sanfer. Uh, she's got a little damage on the front. Renzi's got damage. Young's got damage. Coleman's got damage. PJ Williams. I believe he has damage. I'm not. I'm not sure. A bunch of cars going down pit road, too. There's Seth Cole, Varno. We saw them get involved. Hart, Rodriguez, Citadino, Michaels, Kyle Thomas. His day is over. Washer's day is done. Let's see if there's any cars on pit road that, um, oh, there's McCurry. Uh, they're just pitting there. So, caution's out for the first time today. We had a 
we had a small wreck that wasn't a caution, and then we had a, two big wrecks that happened right the same moment. Let's take a look at both of those incidents. As we are under caution right now, we're on lap eight. Jacob Anthony, the rookie, is your leader. All right, we're back, and uh, it basically, you can just say it as this. Galgan went too close on the washer, and they set up four wide, and Erickson's going to crowd Galligan and Barnado. And that was just rookie mistake right there. Amazingly, though, yeah, the Noah Hart gets slightly involved, too. All those guys, oh, my God, washer almost just flipped there. But all those guys did not prevent a caution. That was amazing about it. So they kept it together. But uh, let's take a look at the actual caution that came in the race. All right, we're back. Remember, there was two wrecks. We're going to show you the one in the front real quickly. Uh, we saw a dude, and he just got clipped by the 12 of Kyle Thomas. And watch Talent Pass in the 18 when that happens. He is just going to get clipped right there, just in that corner panel. Around he goes. There's um, the 20 car. He goes around. Cole Daly, I don't know how he made that through. That was unbelievable. Demax actually got a little piece, but he kept it going. There's Sanford. There's the 12 car. He flipped over. There's Nick Smith, John Trollston, Seth Cole. Yeah, there's where he gets his damage right there. Oh, Charlie Rodriguez is going to hit the inside wall. Smith again. Daniel Day gets involved. Michael Norman gets clipped by um, McNamara. And Peachy gets crowded. Oh, there's Coleman and uh, Cole and McCur McCurry and PJ Williams. Just everyone's sliding around. There's Jack Richards. Rodriguez. Oh, and then there's this pack. I want to see what happened to... Uh, Washer and uh, Varno. Oh, Washer plowed the 12, and Varno just followed him. That was a big rookie mistake. There's Young, and Varno's going to slide right into him. That ends Washer's day. There's Erickson. There's Hart. Erickson and Hart are sliding. They're just trying to avoid it. Oh, Hart's going to run right into Young in the back end. Erickson, I think, made it through. Amazingly. And then Galligan, I don't know how he made it through the right. Oh, Citadino plowed into Cole. Oh my, that was a hard hit. There's Michaels there, and uh, yeah, now I want to see what happened in the second wreck, because I think Michaels, in the back way, I think he was one of those cars in the back that got involved. Let's double check here. Yeah, because there was a second wreck. Oh, it was Plored. What happened to Plored? Let's uh, see here. Yeah, McNamara just, that was the same thing what happened to the 32 and the 12. They just got close. But this wreck happened toward the back, so. Oh, man, Young barely got through that. But Floyd's going to scrape the wall. He's going to take a double tap there. Which means he only tapped the wall twice. Oh, there's how Cinedino got involved there. Same with Young. I think, though, Floyd and McNamara, I think they make it through. Um, I could be wrong. Oh my god, McNamara, jeez. Thread the needle there. Oh, McNamara gets involved there. Okay, never mind about that. Floored. Yeah, he's going to run to Renzi there. Never mind. Um, Man, just piling up there. And this was a big time wreck that involved at least 20 cars. Amazingly though, Jacob Anthony is the leader. The main one I got to see, though, is Cole Daly, because I think this is the luckiest son of a bitch I think you could find. No pun intended, uh, um, any movie quotes or anything, or racing quotes, but you got to see Daly here. We're going to show you in the, um, on the roof cam. Watch there. There's the clip, and we're showing in slow-mo on purpose, because there's the 20, and look at yeah, he's going to give a little tap to the 20, but watch right here. He's just going to barely avoid the wrecking there because of the 20. Amazing job by Daly. That was incredible driving. Even though he's a rookie in this series, he's a veteran in others. So the caution's out for the first time today. Wow, you see that 12 car flip my word. Let's take you back to the green. Pace cars giving us the one lap to go. All drivers out of the race, Joshua Michaels, Gabe Coleman, Shane Bardo, Dylan Young, Preston Plord, Pichu London, Anthony McCurry, Chris Washer, the pole sitter, his day is done. Kyle Thomas with a fuel leak, surprise to that, Citadino, um, Noah Hart, Jack, uh, Jack Richards, 
Uh, the 20, I can't remember the name. The green flag's back out. And the 5 and Nick Smith, they have all retired out of the race. Who's the 20 real quickly? I just want to double check. Oh, the 20, that's uh, Michael White. I'm sorry, Michael, my bad. But anyways, the green flag's back out. You may have noticed 28 cars are still on the track. Most of them are damaged, though. Now, remember that. The cars that look like they have a good shot possibly be, well, from where the 9 car maybe could be, because even though the 9's got a little bit of damage, he's still racing well. Oh, man, McNamara is no hood. So doubtful he can win. And then just anyone else in the back there. Yeah, Erickson is really slow. He's going about 147. They're going about 168, at least 20 miles per hour faster, as we already crossed the halfway point. Already an incredible race on the return of the Intercell Outback Series. Now, another thing, too, with um, these guys here, I don't know if they're going to catch up to the main pack. I mean, P.J. Williams is actually trying to. Or actually, Ryan Richards, Trevor Germain, Jessica Shelton, P.J. Williams. They're probably going to get back in the pack with the little damage they got. Charlie Rodriguez, though, on the other hand. See, he's going 169. They're going 173. So, I, I doubt Rodriguez is going to catch up. So, what may look like, though, is... Oops. Pressing the wrong button. It looks like the Williams, who is 17th, it looks like it may be a 17-car field. For the way oh, we got a wreck again! What the heck? Oh, no, it's the leaders! Oh, no, whoa, oh, God, oh, Jesus, what the hell happened? Oh, no, Richie, car flipping, it's Daniel Day. Oh, and they're piling up, oh, no, oh, my God, Day flipped. Sanford involved, oh, Eugene to Max, season one, the season two champ, I mean. He's out, and I believe Kevin Yarrow led it. Yeah, he did. Lawler involved. Galligan, his day is done. Schrolston, Poti, Day, we saw him flip. There's the Max, his day is over. Gene Sanford, her day's over. Sandra Renzi, I believe, got some damage on that as well. But man, just oh, there's the other drivers who got involved there. There was um, Richie, we saw him. Laplante and Qualls in the wall. We saw Baskinger, right? Yeah, he's got left side damage. Man, not many cars here. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars of the main pack still survive. Man, this is going to be crazy there. And oh, there's left side damage to Jacob Antony. I don't know what happened to him. Wow, this day is getting strange already. Caution's out for the second time, or um, yeah, the second time today as we're on lap 13 to 20. Alan Cavanaro leads us down. Let's take you back to see what brought ourselves the second caution of the race. All right, you can see this in Poti's view. They're going four wide, and I have no idea why. But we found out who caused it. It was John, or no, Poti got in the cold alley into the 77, and that 23, Trollston trolled, and oh, the 85 and 01. Wow, they just got clipped. There's LaPlante and the 25. Oh, there's where the 66 got involved. Now we know why. There's Claus. He looked like he was going to make it through, and he's going to get clipped at the last second. Oh, man. And then Lamas. Wow, how did he make it through that? But here comes pack number two. Oh, great. We didn't even see him get involved. Oh, goodness me. He plowed to Max. There's Daniel Day. Who's going to flip him? I wonder that. Oh, Galligan, after another hit from, I believe that was Samper, sends the 30 car upside down. Oh, man, that is a tough break. Seth Cole, John McNamara uh, make it through. Tough break for Daniel Day and Sean Galgan. And their days are just going bad to worse. And cars littering the field. But, man, Brandon Freight. Good Lord. He plowed someone hard. Take a look from the TV uh, one cam. Yeah, they were going three wide with Town Pass and Day. There's the wrecking. And where's the good angle? Let's see. Oh, right here. Watch. Oh, right in front of him. And he plows into him right there. Oh, my God. And how did Michael Norman avoid that? you got to be kidding me. Yeah, see, Gene Sanford at Galgan, and that's what made Daniel Day flip. But Trollston actually was somewhat cause of the four wide. He got a little close there and, well, got him. Well, caution's out for the second time today. Al Caminaro leads us down. Right, Alan Cap yep, Alan Cabanero, let's take you back to the green.
we are back and we got a lot more drivers that are in the retirees area um let's see here we go the brandon freights out dylan poteet gene samper season two champ eugene the max out of the race charlie rodriguez is out daniel day is out jacob lawler is out and sean galligan is out of the race in 21st that's right 20 cars remain and from the looks of it, it may be down to possibly the top 10, maybe. It, it may be. Maybe the top 12, because I doubt McNamara is going to catch up there. So let's show you the whole field. Alan Cavanaugh leads. Jacob Anthony second. Trevor Germain third. Ian Duda fourth. PJ Williams fifth. Sixth is Jessica Shelton. Seventh, Ryan Richards. Eighth, Cole Daly. Ninth is um, 25, Jake Baskinger. And tenth is Austin LaPlante. 11th is uh, James Qualls. 12th is Anthony Ritchie. 13th, Michael Norman. I'm actually surprised. I don't think he has that much. I don't think he has damage, but just it's not showing up. I don't know why. Uh, where was I? 14th is McNamara. 15th, Seth Cole. 16th, Cassandra Renzi. 17th is Justin Townpass. 18th is Lily Erickson. 19th, John Trollston. And completing the top 20 in the whole field is Cody Lamas. Five more, la or actually, um, four more laps when we take back to the green. My apologies there. Are we going to survive? I have no idea. But, man, just crazy racing that's going on. The pace car dives down the pit road. I hope we can stay it under green. Uh, here we go. And the green flag is back out. In the 66, Jacob Antme, who's been... Having a great day at Daytona so far. He's going to try to end it up with the win. Even with that damaged car. But now Trevor Jermaine says, I don't think so. I want that I want that win badly as much as you do. He's going to bring along Ian Duda in the 32. Here comes PJ Williams in the 43 car. The pilot Ford Mustang. Here comes Ryan Richards in the, in the 11 car. We haven't talked about him at all this race. And look at how well he's doing. Despite getting involved in a little bit of the first wreck, he is still up in this pack, as well as Jessica Shelton. Anthony's going to get the advantage of the high line. He's going to go back to the low line. Cole Daly, he's still in this battle. And Baskinger, he's just trying to get up there, as well as Michael Norman, but uh, it may not look like it there. Uh, doubtful for those two. Michael Norman says, you know what? You're not going to help me, so I'm going to have to ditch you. Three laps to go. Tell you one thing. Everyone in this field is a rookie that can win this race. Michael Norman, I, I doubt he's going to catch up. I mean, they're they're too far behind. I mean, he's going once. They're all going at the same speed, but I doubt Michael's going to catch up to them. I mean, he could though. It's not a big pack. Ian Duda, he's he's staying behind Alan Cavanaro there. He's waiting for the perfect time to pass. Well, Duda. On second thoughts, not going to get him. Instead, the 43 of P.J. Williams is going to pass him, and now Trevor Germain's going to pass him. This is what Kevin Yarrow loves to see. He barely made the sign-ups last... He, this, uh, this, um... Wow. He barely made this sign-ups here for the Outback. And this was the last car that was taken, the 64. Normally, the last car picked in the series brings good luck. Normally does. Well, Kevin Yarrow is leading the race in the final stages. Take one last look here. All those guys here, they're no way ever going to possibly get up there. And there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, Michael is actually catching up, but I don't think he's going to be able to get the win. Neither is Cole Daly. But they're actually going three wide for second. But those guys got to stop battling for second. They got to battle for the lead here. PJ Williams is like, hey, you want to you want to win the race? We got to pass. We got to pass the leader. Here we go. Coming off of three. Coming off of turn number four right now. Crossing the stripe, it will be the white flag. Possibly be down to six, or actually uh, seven drivers, rather. Here we go. White flag is out. Alan Cavagnaro trying to win the race. Trying to make sure he gets his first ever career NRSL Outback Series victory. He's got to hold off PJ Williams and Ian Duda, who's had a strong day today. Cavagnaro, Williams, Duda, they've all survived. Duda's now working with Williams. I think... Uh, Duda's going to try to get around Williams, though. And he is. Not a good move. P.J. Williams is going to get that run on the high side in order for the win. Or are we going to have a last lap pass for the win? May not look like it, though. Duda, 
Can't get the move on there. Williams, can he have one last run at the 64? Here we go. Coming off a three. Coming off a turn number four. Doesn't look like it. Alan Cavagnaro, the rookie, who got the last card in the signups, is going to win here at Daytona. Congrats to Alan Cavagnaro on the victory. And, man, that was incredible there. And now we're going to uh, show you the uh, results in just a moment. 